sweetened 
just feel like it tastes the best in my latte, so I usually just stick with that. And now, again, we will be doing the instant espresso. This will be the last recipe featuring the instant. I wanted to at least get a few in there to give some options. So again, just preparing this as a double shot, and I've already got my water inside of the creamer cup. And then, I'm adding the star of the show, which is this Da Vinci toasted marshmallow coffee syrup. Oh my gosh, this was also in my favorites video. I love this syrup, it's so good. And I do two full pumps of that as well. I thought I'd add some fluffy mic scratching because some of you love this, so I want to add a little bit of it for those of you that do. So I'm mixing all of that together. Again, I want to get a ni nice frothy crema on the top there. Of 
sweet. <laughs> and I'm gonna make sure that I mix that syrup in there so we get it nice and evenly distributed in the drink. And then to top off this one, I'm going back in with that favorite day marshmallow whipped cream. I love this whipped cream. It's so universal because it's marshmallow. I feel like marshmallow tastes good on anything. And then that will complete the cookie butter iced latte. Next up, we have the iced mocha. Now, this isn't like exactly fall, but for me, I like mochas in the fall. I love chocolatey rich drinks in the fall and winter. I don't know why, I just do. So, I thought a classic mocha would be perfect. So, taking the chocolate syrup, I'm going to just drizzle that in my skeleton iridescent glass, which, by the way, I love this one. You can find these pretty much every year at, like, random stores. I got mine at Target probably two years ago, and I just love this one so much. And I just put a nice hefty amount in there because this is a mocha, so you want the chocolate to really come through. And taking my little pumpkin creamer cup here, I am going to really put in a decent amount of the chocolate sauce because this is what's going to give us that strong mocha flavor, which by the way, I think this version is 10 times better than Starbucks. Mine is sweet and yummy and the Starbucks one's kind of like bitter, so I like this one way better if I do say so myself. So once I've got my chocolate in there, I add a little bit of this mocha coffee syrup, and I think that's why it makes it better, because it kind of cuts the bitterness out of the chocolate and makes it more sweet. So for this one, I'm doing the double espresso scuro pod, which has chocolate cocoa notes in there, which pairs perfectly with a mocha recipe. So I just brew that right over the chocolate syrup. And then once that's all finished, I'm going to, again, mix it up and make sure that everything is nice and blended together before pouring it into the glass. There's another variation of this that I think would be really good, and it is a hazelnut mocha. Um, the brand Tarani makes a hazelnut chocolate sauce, and I think that would be so good in this kind of recipe, so I'm gonna try to find it at a grocery store near me and test it out and see how that goes, because I think hazelnut and chocolate is like the best combo, so I'll have to try that. Maybe I'll put it in a future recipe video. I definitely want to do this again for like Christmas and holiday recipes, so if that's something you want to see, let me know. I think that would be fun. I like making different coffee concoctions and drink recipes. It's super fun. Okay, so I added my oat milk and now the espresso blend. And again, going in with that favorite day, marshmallow whipped cream. This, I thought, would just be the perfect fit because chocolate and marshmallow, obviously a great pair. So then I'm also going to drizzle some more of that chocolate sauce on there to make it a true iced mocha. And that will complete this recipe. Again, a favorite of mine. <laughs> okay, so next up, we have our final recipe of today's video, and it is a pumpkin cinnamon roll latte, and I actually made this one for my mom because she loves cinnamon and pumpkin, so I thought this would be a good one to make her. And the first thing I'm going to take is my pumpkin sauce. I actually made this myself. I prefer to do that because I think it tastes better than the ones that you can buy in the store. You get that true, authentic pumpkin spice flavor, and I love that. There's recipes for this online, but I just do one cup of water, one cup of pumpkin puree, half a cup of brown sugar instead of regular sugar. That's why mine's darker. And then two tablespoons of pumpkin pie spice. And then you just let that simmer and reduce down a bit in your saucepan and you have the best pumpkin spice syrup ever. Okay, so 
I'm adding this Cinnabon creamer to the drink. I had a decent amount, so you can get that flavor really in there. I wanted a decent mix of cinnamon and pumpkin, so it tasted like a true pumpkin cinnamon bun. And my mom doesn't do any of the goofy milks, so I just went in with the good old whole milk for her. <laughs> and for this recipe, I take some cinnamon dolce syrup and add some of that to my little creamer cup here. And then I take some more of that pumpkin sauce that I made. And I add pumpkin by spice, a little dash of that. And then I'm also going to take some cinnamon and add a dash of that as well. And for the espresso, I am using the Dolce Pod. I really like this one for anything that has like caramel or pumpkin in it. It just works perfectly with those recipes, which I mentioned earlier. So, brewing that directly into all of those ingredients. And then we'll give it a good mix once it is finished brewing. And I really hope this video is somewhat relaxing because I'm literally just talking and explaining things the whole time. So hopefully it's relaxing and not too repetitive and boring. Also, if any of you guys try any of these recipes, please let me know how you like them because I'm very happy with these. And I think they all turned out so yummy, and I can't wait to do, think of some fun holiday drinks as well. So after we add that in, the next step will be to mix everything together, and since this is a pumpkin cinnamon roll recipe, I thought the only right thing to top this with would be the pumpkin spice cold foam which again, if you have not tried this and you like cold foam and really sweet pumpkin flavors, highly recommend giving it a shot. They have a bunch of different flavors, but of course, I had to do pumpkin because it's a pumpkin fall-themed video. And then just topping that off with both the pumpkin pie spice and the cinnamon, and that is going to conclude this recipe and this video. I hope that you all enjoyed, and as always, thank you so, so much for watching.